One of the most important things you can do on defense before a play is where you put your user middle linebacker. If you expect your opponent to run, start from about 10 yards away from the line of scrimmage, and you'll be too far away for the lineman's awareness to pick you up and target you. As you can see right here, this lineman runs right past me and allows me to get right to the running back at the line of scrimmage. But if you expect your opponent to pass, you're going to want to do the exact opposite and stand right in front of the line so that they are targeting you, as this will often let edge rushers who are rushing the pass or get around the edge free for easy sacks. If you guys are looking for fast, cheap, reliable coins for your college football 25 team, check out my coin sponsors at MMOXP and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The champ is here! Welcome back, Money Team. Today's video, I'm going to give you guys 10 things that every defense needs to be great. I'm going to go over things you can do before the play even starts that will make your defense better. But before I do, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. If you need more help or more money plays, you can download any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking the links in the description or the top hand comment. Now, the first couple of tips I'm going to show you guys are going to be adjustments you can make in your settings and your coaching adjustments, starting with something you can do in your gameplay settings from the home screen. Once you go into your settings, you're going to want to go to the game options section and scroll all the way down to the area that's called gameplay helpers if you've never been in here before there's a good chance that this first function i'm going to show you guys is off and that's the defensive heat seeker assist this is one of the best things you can turn on when it comes to settings in the entire game as this allows user controlled defenders to be steered towards the ball carrier when attempting to run or dive into them so make sure you turn that on once you do this it also allows you to change the defensive heat seeker window size which is currently at 100 percent but this allows you to go all the way up to 200 percent doing this will increase the magnetism that's created by the defensive heat seeker assist function and will often allow you to be pulled into tackles from much further distances away, allowing you to be a much more reliable tackler throughout the game. The best tackling mechanic to use to get the best effect possible is going to be the breakdown tackle, so make sure that whenever you're close to a ball carrier of any kind, to be tapping the air X button, whether on Xbox or PlayStation, and you'll find that you get way more tackles much easier. My next tip is going to be player management. If you're using a lowly rated team like I often do, I've showed you guys plenty of videos where I use Texas State and I've beaten teams like Alabama, Georgia, some of the best teams in the entire game with one of the worst teams, and that's because I make an adjustment on defense where I basically just try to put speed all over the field. Not every defense has high highly rated players so if you're using a team that doesn't have a lot of highly rated players just make sure you go through your depth chart and put speed in all the right places the most important places are going to be areas like user linebacker we're going to make sure you have your fastest linebacker starting cornerbacks when it comes to blitzes you're going to want to make sure that you have 95 speed cornerbacks coming off the edge and when it comes to safeties especially you want to make sure that you have your fastest guys out there as a guy like this who's only an a3 speed safety so unless that player is really highly rated you're going to want to replace all your slower players with faster players on defense because someone like this would get absolutely roasted in a man zero blitz or if they were trying to cover the deep center middle of the field against man cover one fast receivers just run right by them there'd be nothing that i could do for my next tip, I'm going to go over what I think is probably the most important coaching adjustment in the entire game, and that's the option defense pitch key. If your opponent is running a lot of pitch plays and you don't have this set to aggressive, you're going to have a very hard time stopping that. And that's because setting this to aggressive will force the pitch defender to focus on the pitch itself, which is typically going to be the bigger play. Run defense is always weaker to the outside, so you always want to try to turn run plays back inside. As you can see here, he plays the pitch, forcing the quarterback to keep the ball and turn inside, which is where you have your help. Your linebackers, your safeties, they're all up the middle, where outside, typically all you have is cornerbacks that don't do a very good job of shedding blocks and usually get beat for bigger plays. Now, that's the only coaching adjustment I'm going to go over in this video, but yesterday I put out a full breakdown of the new coaching adjustments that are best to use in College Football 25, as they did recently change during the latest patch. So if you guys want to see more, I'll have links to that video in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video and also popping up at the top right hand corner right now next up i'm going to go over some adjustments that you should be making no matter what defense you're using when it comes to run defense number one you're always going to want to pinch the defensive line which is d-pad to the left and down and that's going to close up any inside run lanes to take away any potential gaps that your opponent might have to run inside you also want to make sure that you always have outside containment which is going to be bringing down either linebackers or cornerbacks to the point where they're outside about five to ten yards away from the widest tackle in the tackle box this is because now if there is any run plays to the outside they have a better chance of turning the run play back inside which is something like i just said in the previous section that you always want to do you could also hard flat which is going to be wire triangle then down the right stick and they'll play better uh, outside containment based off the fact that they won't drop back as far after the play starts and then the last thing you can do if you really have somebody who's running a lot is you want to make sure that you keep cover two zone and cover four quarters 
in your coaching adjustments at all times. Cover two is going to be the best outside run defense. As you can see here, if I hit the left trigger and the right trigger while holding them and then hit the X button, you'll see that we have run fits in the actual cornerback, meaning that they'll engage quicker and try to shed the blocks to the point where they'll play the outside runs the best. If you want to play uh, something, if somebody's running up the middle a lot, you can switch over to the cover for quarters, as this is the only defense where the safeties have run fits, meaning that they will play like linebackers in the box and they'll make a lot of plays for you. So make sure that you always have these two run defenses in your audibles no matter what scheme you use. For my last tip, I'm gonna talk about the user middle linebacker. As you can get a lot of advantages if you start to play about 10 yards off the line of scrimmage, as you see I did here. As starting this far back will guarantee that the offensive lineman won't be targeting you since their awareness isn't that strong. And it'll allow you to shoot a lot of gaps to the point where you can often meet the running back right when he gets the ball. And this is because, once again, I'm too far away for the lineman to target me, so that also guarantees that when the play starts, I'll never get blocked. Now, I already went over how cover four matches one of the best defenses when it comes to run defense since the safeties have run fits and they will play down in the box like linebackers, but the best RPO defense is going to be matching cover four as well. It's just not going to be cover four quarters. It's going to be cover four palms. On this play here, we're going to choose a play called the RPO glance post, where you have a post route on one side that should be just about any man or zone, and a bubble screen on the other side that should be just about any zone in the game as well as a run play to the outside now i just went over how cover four safeties play the run first and you can see here on a replay that once my opponent hikes the ball he walks down to the box to play the run because that's what his run fit is telling him to do but the safety on the other side recognizes that there's a post route coming into his area so he drops back for the pass so if we watch both safeties at the same time you can see how they don't do the same thing they don't both drop down for run fits as the one on the right side realizes he has no run play in his area so he will drop down and play the run but the one on the left side is smart enough to realize that there's a route coming into his area so he's going to drop back and play pass coverage so since the safety on the right side is playing the run you might think that the cornerbacks on the right side are as well but you'll notice that this quarter flat defender here is going to play the pass perfectly as he plays the bubble screen every single time and blows the play up for no gain. So like I said in the last section, you always want to have a matching cover four in your audible plays, but since cover four palms is both the best RPO defense and also one of the best run defenses, you should always use cover four palms. Next up, I'm going to go over pass defense as one of the most important things you can do pre-snap is to limit the space between the receivers and the defensive backs who are playing the receivers in coverage. On this next play, I'm going to cover three, and you can see that this receiver is about eight yards away from the cornerback, which gives Gives a lot of space underneath and allows for a lot of quick throws to the outside as my opponent here beats me on an eight yard out route as this cornerback is just too far away to cover. If you hit wire triangle though you can bring up your coverage adjustments and switch over to a show two and now these cornerbacks will go from eight yards off the line of scrimmage to about five yards off the line of scrimmage much closer to their targets. This also has the added benefit of confusing your opponent as they won't be able to make accurate reads before the play starts. And now you can see on the replay that since the cornerback is playing much further down that he breaks on the ball much quicker and has the opportunity to hit the receiver for a knockout. For my last tip, I already went over how in run defense you want to start about 10 yards away from the line of scrimmage so that the linemen don't target you, but on a pass play you want to do the exact opposite. Bring your user down over any gap as long as this check mark pops up above your head it will let you know that the offensive linemen are targeting you. Doing this will often divert the attention of the linemen allowing blitzers from further away to get in untouched quite often. As you can see right here it gets around the edge much easier and we get a sack. So I'm going to end the video there but I mentioned earlier in the video that I made a full breakdown of the best new coaching adjustments to use on offense and defense so if you guys want to see that i'll have that popping up on screen now so just click the links and until next time thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below